my mind. Yeah, Joe, I have to agree with you. I had a chance to go back and watch that Michigan Army game, and I was really surprised that Michigan was unable to really take advantage of what Army was doing from a defensive standpoint. That's whether it's a quarterback read, that's whether wide receivers getting open. Are those some of the same things you saw when you were calling the game? Yeah, there's no doubt, Howard. And, and I was candidly shocked when this offense that was touted to be more of a spread RPO zone read style of offense under Josh Gaddis did not do any of those <laughs> things during the course of the game. They just didn't. And what's, what's frustrating from a Michigan perspective is that if you actually look at the numbers from Shea Patterson, when he does execute the RPO or the zone read, he's one of the best, most efficient runners in college football. Not explosive, I'm talking about efficient runners. He moves the chains constantly when he runs the football outside of the pack pocket. If he was banged up with an oblique injury, which maybe he was dating back to the Middle Tennessee game, that very first fumble, he kind of went down awkwardly, then maybe we should have seen somebody else. But all of a sudden, it was just straight drop back pass or let's hand it to Zach Charbonnet and have him run into a brick wall in the middle of the line. That was, by the way, guys, did you know that was the lowest yards per rush they've ever averaged under Jim Harbaugh and still won the game? They're 1-13 and 13 now. In Harbaugh's tenure, when they averaged less than 2.9 yards per carry, they averaged a little less than two, two and a half yards per carry last week against Army. This offense has major issues to figure out. Shea Patterson's dropping the ball way too many times, putting it on the ground. He missed too many open wide receivers. The run game had no consistency. And the biggest issue for them moving forward, Howard, was their lack of ability to execute in the short yardage. That was, I think, the biggest thing I took away and the thing that is going to hinder them the most moving forward. And the fact is, last year they were great in the short yardage. They would hand it to Ben Mason on the fullback. They would have <laughs> double width formation, a double width means they had two tight ends. They would get downhill with a true tailback, be under center with the quarterback, and they would get downhill in a hurry and run power and gap schemes to either side of the ball. Now what you saw against Army is that they did not have double width formation. So they had one side of the line that did not have a tight end or even a flex wing back with an extra tight end of the game. And they were in the shotgun, and they were trying to have these slow-developing run plays to Zach Charbonnet. Well, guess what? That's a shorter edge for the edge player for the defense, and he was just crashing down and stopping those short yardage runs. Charbonnet didn't even have a chance on a couple of those fourth and ones. I was appalled by their short yardage plan. A team that Jim Harbaugh coaches with an inability to get under center and go downhill in the short yardage, and they're sitting back there in the shotgun like they're Oregon circa 2008? That's a problem. That is a huge problem. They're going to have to figure that out moving forward. So much of what you're talking about here is schematic, Joel, and, and kind of, you know, X and O stuff that, that is premised on the offensive philosophy. Is the mm -hmm. offensive philosophy not what you expected it to be? I mean, it, it, it sounds as if you're question. saying they haven't changed as much as you expected them to change or in the ways that you expected them to change. I thought that the play calling <clears throat> was not what I expected it to be. The system is what I expected it to be. They're trying to showcase their wide receivers on the edge. They're trying to showcase the ability of what their quarterbacks can do in the pocket. The problem is, is that I didn't see some of the elements of that offense that I thought would make it really sing. Um, and then just because that's the offense that you're gonna run and base downs, I, I still believe that you have to have the ability to get back under center in the short yardage. Um, so, so, Dave, I love the offensive philosophy. I thought they struggled, Josh Gaddis in particular, in play calling and play selection and play sequencing during the course of the game. Remember, this is the first year that he's actually calling his own offensive plays, so maybe this is just growth from that standpoint. But then also having the ability to be versatile when you need it and get into those bigger sets and bigger formations and get downhill quicker in the short yardage. Fact is, they struggled inside the five, and they struggled in short yardage when they needed it most. Want to take it out of the 